Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to set up a class blog specifically for younger classes using Google's free blogger platform and then show you how to set that up on Easy Blogger Junior app. Uh, there are different ways to set up blogger for a class blog but in this tutorial we're basically going to show you what we think is the simplest way which is one blog that all of your students will contribute to. Before you start the tutorial you need to make yourself a class Gmail account or a Google account and we recommend that you include the year in your email address for example class KGL 2014 at gmail.com once you've got that you are ready to get started so now that you have your class Gmail or Google account set up we can head on over to blogger.com if you've already got a, another type of Gmail or Google account You'll see it here as well so make sure you sign in with the right one and once you're in this will take you to your main blogger dashboard now we can see I currently don't have any blogs so we're just going to create a new blog up here we're going to put the name of our blog our class blog and in here we will put the address and I'm going to use the same as my Gmail now in here we can choose which type of theme we'd like to use. For now, I'm going to go with this theme, which is, you can see from the background what it's going to look like, and I go create blog. So now we can see our blog has been created. Let me just have a quick look at it here, so we can see what it looks like at this stage. And it'll be very simple, got no posts, etc. So let's have a look now how to customize this for our purposes. So we go here, this is where we get to our main control panel. First we're going to go to the layout. Now, there's lots of what we call gadgets that we can add and that we can edit. And we do that all from here. So a favicon, we're going to leave that one for now. The nav bar, that was this one up the top here, and we don't really want that. Well, I don't want it anyway. So to remove a, one of these, we just click on edit. And then we're going to say off. Don't want that. And if we look at that again now, we should see that it's gone from the top. Moving on down here, this is where we can put a picture. And what a, a really good idea is, is to line your class up and take a nice long photo of them. And the best photos are ones that are long and skinny. In the description, welcome to our class blog. Please leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe and we're going to put that after the image let me go save okay so there we got our image and then we have our little description okay moving down we're going to leave this gadget area in the blog post we're going to edit at the moment if we click on edit for blog posts these are all the things that will show when someone posts we don't want it to show this because these posts will not be by me. I think as well the time, don't really need the time. This one, the sharing buttons, that's up to you. If you leave those on there, that means people can easily share them. I think it looks a little bit messy with those on, so personally I take that off. And we don't need the location because, let's face it, everyone visiting your blog is going to know exactly where they are. Okay, so we won't be actually see what that looks like until we make a post. Over here, we don't want to see the About Me page. So that's the information here, because that's not who's making this blog. So we go Edit. I'm not quite sure why it has these two things here, but I find you kind of have to do, especially you have to do the Remove one. The blog archive will show the recent posts. That's up to you if you want to leave that in there. One we do need to add, so I'm going to add a gadget, is the one that will show what they call the labels. So that's what this one's down here. And because of the way Easy Blogger Junior works, each time a student creates a post, it uses their name as a label. So by having this on, that means we will be able to see a list of all the students. And by clicking on their name, you'll be able to see the posts by that student and again don't forget you can always go back and edit these things later on and I'm going to move that one up to the top another one I would like is the subscribe by email 
which means parents can put their email address into our blog and then they will be able to see they will get an email whenever someone creates a new post. Now in our situation that means they're going to get an email whenever anyone um, creates a post so you kind of have to decide if that's good for you. So that's your blog set up pretty much and ready to go. I just want to show you how to customize the background which is quite fun and can give your blog a personal touch. So we click on template and that's the theme we're using right now. I click on customize. I can have some other options, things that I can change. So if I just click on background for instance, I can click up here and I'll have a variety of other images I could choose for a background or I could upload my own. So for instance, I could use this one here. Not sure why I would, but I'm going to. So we apply to the blog. We go back to the view blog. Let's have a look at that. The final step is to add our students to Easy Blogger Junior app. So we open the app and the first time we open it, you'll see this screen here. Now to get into the profiles, you hold down the settings button for quite a few seconds. That is a safety or security measure that we've got to stop the kids getting in there by accident and deleting things they shouldn't. Now the first time we use it, we click connect to blogger and that will take us to the blogger login page. And we just log in there with our Gmail information. And then you'll go to an authentication screen and we just click accept. Now we can see down the bottom that we are connected to Blogger as Class KGL and we can start adding some students. So we click the plus button, pop in the first student's name and I'm going to use my daughter. I've asked her and she said she doesn't mind. Don't worry about blog category for now. Students photo. If we want to put in a profile photo we can. Just leave their name then it will just use their name on the um, opening page. Tap to select blog. There's our class blog there. I Sometimes it doesn't pick it up and you've got to kind of flick it a bit. Whoop, there it goes and you know it's picked it up when you can just tap the update profile button here. And we can see now that Ari has been added. We add another couple. I better add my other daughter in case she gets upset. Mainly. We add one more. And this is Henry. This is one of the other app developers son. Okay, there we go. And then we can edit those or delete those just by, as you can see from the controls here. So if we go back to the home screen of the app now, we will see that these three profiles have been added. Just use the little back button up in the corner there. Okay, so there are the three profiles. While we're here, I'm going to show you how these students would make a post, just in case you haven't seen the app in action, because it really is unbelievably intuitive and easy. So we say Aria comes up to the iPad. If she's forgotten what to do, she can tap the little speaker button. Hi, I'm Yuppie. Tap your picture to get started. If you can't see your picture, tap the arrows. That's actually Mei Lee's voice, the girl in the middle, my eldest daughter. Are you sure this is you? And what Aria would like to do today, she's going to put a photo on her blog. She's already taken it. You know, I made some example ones here. And she's going to use this one of her favorite dog, her only dog. And she wants to tell people something about this photo. So she taps talk about my photo. Hits the red button to record. This is my little dog called Coco. Now she can watch it. This is my and if she's happy with it, she just hits the green button. Great work. I'm sending that to your blog. Don't close the app until I'm finished. And that's now being sent up to her blog. As easy as that. Look at one of the other features, which is pretty cool. So let's do this one for Mei Lee. Are you sure this is you? Yes. And Mei Lee's going to shoot a video. These are all the pictures that I have drawn because I love art. Great work. I'm sending that to your blog. Even though Easy Blogger Junior was specifically designed for young kids, you might very well have some kids that do want to do some typing posts. So you can also do that as well. Let's use Henry. He's going to do some typing. 
This is my first blog post. And he can add a photo in there if he would like to. Let's put his picture since this is him. And then publish. So here we are back at the blog and we can see the three posts here that I've just put up. There's Ari's one with the little dog, with Coco. This is my little dog. And here's Maylee's video. These are all the pictures. And here is Henry's text post. And we can also see over here now it's created these labels. So if I click on Aria, it's just going to bring up the posts by Aria. And that's really useful. So once Aria has made lots of posts, as a parent, I'll simply need to click here to find all of the posts by Aria. So it really is as easy as that.